tipsy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it, shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent, shawty What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on the streets of Long Beach in a real drive converted for Loster. And because today, in honor of Frederick Osbo's big win at Streets of Long Beach Round 1, we are trying to do a hot hatch drift build. And I'll push that a little too wide. This car is definitely uh, a lot different to drive being a small wheel based, you know hatchback but Frederick Osbo makes it look easy I wish I could do the Toyota you know Corolla that he has but Toyota is not in Forza 7 so we are going to be ripping this one more time here at Long Beach and then we are going to probably take this thing into an online hopper and uh, have a little fun with it you know in this little hot hatch you know episode he makes it look easy in that hatchback I know I still I'm baffled that he gets a thousand horsepower out of a four-cylinder Toyota motor, but it's insane. It's an amazing car. So hats off to him as well as you know Vincek, Dean, and Forrest Wang. You know, you know for all the top four finishers. So we're gonna run this one more time here at Long Beach, and then we're gonna find an online hopper and send this thing against some other cars and see what we can do. If you are not ready for this thing, it will come around on you, but it's not that bad. I should downshift it in that, but we are going to send this to an online hopper and see uh, what we can do in an online lobby. So I will catch you guys when I find a session and uh, we'll take this hot hatch through its paces in an online session. We'll be doing more uh, Long Beach practice this evening. So stay tuned to the channel. I hopefully, if everything goes right, I will be live streaming the drifting uh, practice on the channel tonight. All right, so we are pretty far back, but like I said, this is all about fun. Trying to do something that we don't normally do, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Throwing this into the first turn, I have a feeling this is going to be bad. And we just got hit by a van. And yep, I did not want to get involved with that van, so. Now that we're away from the van. I mean, this car can throw a lot of angle, but it you have to hit that threshold of, is it gonna go or is it not gonna go? Because. You go a little bit too far in this car and uh, you're done. That's all she wrote. You, you know, you're looping it around. Like right there, almost. Save it. Whoa. So, hot hatch car, definitely not the best car for uh, drifting, but I'm sure if I sat here and fine tuned it, I could probably get it to work. A little bit better than I want it to. It's a really long e-brake grab, but we still see it on track there. So, at least with this, I'm not really focused on tandem, so it doesn't have to be super smooth. You can get a lot of crazy angle with it and uh, just be okay. But I know it's me out of behind me. It's probably like, what the heck is going on? I mean, it's nice on that bank part. I don't think it's going to do too well on this part. We got some points, though. And there's that Porsche again. Really? So, yeah. That was, uh... He should be using his mirrors a little bit more than that. Actually get an initiation into this first turn. Just trying to stay as smooth as I can with this car. 
it sounds sick, not gonna lie. I do love the sound of this four-cylinder turbo. Definitely does not have as much power as uh, Frederick Osbo's car does, you know, pushing a thousand horsepower of a four-cylinder. I think this is only like 600. But it's definitely, uh, it can get sideways, so hot hatch drifting is possible. Would I recommend it? Probably not. This thing is really twitchy. But we're not doing too, too bad. I mean, we are in seventh. Could be a lot worse. Oh, and Rumble Strips are not this thing's friend. Uh, so Rumble Strips are not this car's friend by any means. What did I just do? I hit the wrong button. Went to my menu by mistake. Ah, don't lose it. Oh. So definitely a very different discipline than what I am used to. Compared to my smooth and easy drifting Camaro. Try and let this man go. But it is fun by, you know, different standards, something different. If you guys have a hot hatch build that you've built, let me know down in the comment section down below. Did you guys watch FD round one? Did you enjoy it? Did you think the judges call against Alec Connedale going towards James Dean saying that he straightened up and both zeroed out? Do you think that was a good call? Do you think it was a bad call? Like, let me get your impressions on that. Um, I personally think it was kind of... I could see where they're coming from with saying it was a zero, but then again, I could also say that maybe there was a little favoritism played into that as I lose it. A little favoritism plays into that to get Dean and to possibly being able to face Forrest Wang. But, you know, I'm not... You know, I'm not a judge, so I don't know the full judging criteria on what justifies a zero run, but I feel like he didn't really straighten out that much, but then again, you know, they maybe saw something that we didn't, even though we watched the replay, I don't know how many times. So, let me know what you guys think. If you guys watched FD, do you think the judging call on that was a little bit off? Um, and then also, did you get to, did you see the Ferrari go up in flames and how painful that was to see that beautiful Ferrari uh, go up in flames at its first event. Definitely a sad thing to see. Luckily, you know, he's okay. He Nobody was injured, so that's really the only thing that matters. That was a really hard entry. I should have grabbed E-brake there, but I didn't. This car is so hard to drive. But then again, it's also easy. You can't overpower it, is what I'm finding. If I'm too much power, then it likes to rotate on me. But it is a fun little car to drive. We will drive converted Veloster N. I mean, it gets angle. I got the rabbit behind me, you know, scratching his cage. I know, he's probably telling me I need to drift better, but, you know. I like to see him get behind the wheel of this thing and drive it. So I think we're going to get maybe one more lap, maybe half a lap in this. Wall tap in. We are able to hold that, though. So that's nice. There we go. getting a little bit more of a feel for the car now but that not something that I would uh, definitely write home about isn't saying it's you know an amazing trip car it's just a fun little car to have a little fun with do something different it does sound amazing though I wish I could get other cars to sound this loud with turbos but I mean, we'll hold that down. We'll hold that almost 10K. I mean, we've got 100K with this car. We are an eighth, so we're halfway in the field. So it's not too, too bad we're gonna lose that. I 
I misjudged my entry speed there. A little break, a little clutch kick. Maybe break for that one. Uh, and we lose our points going 90, but... So, it's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely something different, for sure. So, uh, what's the next track that we might get a chance to run at? Rio Mountain Circuit? I'd be okay with Rio Mountain Circuit. If we go to Rio Mountain Circuit, we are going to rip it. Uh, don't know how this thing would handle uh, the mountains and the bumps, but that uh, E46 taking the victory in that NASA Energy Drink paint. Where are we going? And I can't see what I won. Apparently Forza's uh, not happy right now. There we go. We'll claim our reward later. Oh, we're going to Maple Valley short in the rain. Um, yeah, this car's not going to do too well in the rain, I don't think. It's probably going to be very crazy, but we'll give it a shot. So I will see you guys once we grid up and uh, head out. We are on grid, and it seems like every time I do one of these drift hopper events, I end up doing one race in the rain at least. So let's see if we can't. Oh yeah, this car's going to be crazy in the rain, I can tell already. This is not going to turn out well. Oh no. No way. Everybody's already spinning out. There was another hot hatch over there. It was a Ford Focus. Let's see if we can somehow try and make some points in this. The rain is definitely a different monster for drifting. Not doing as bad as I thought I would. Bank those points. Because we are currently in first. I don't know how. Now we're in second, but. Um, hot hatch in the rain. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. This first turn is what gets me, though. Because it doesn't want to stay sideways. They don't want to over-angle it and spin out. So we're just trying to do a very chill angle. And I'm being very brave. We're trying to link these. Bank those points. There we go. So, this car's a little bit better in the rain than it is in the dry, which is very weird. I don't know what the wet is liking this car better for, but uh, I mean, we're in first by 5,000 points. I doubt we're going to be able to keep that. Because uh, I'm usually in person, then I lose it. I mean, that was huge angle, but I'm surprised we kept our points for that. Don't hit me, dude. Thank you. I'm really brave with coming around these turns with all these points when there's other cars losing it like that oh good thing I had points banked but we did just lose a lot of points and now I gotta contend with other cars and yep see we were in first and now we're back in the fit usually how my public hoppers go we end up we're in first and then we end up getting involved with something or lose points and you know we end up dropping back down in position so definitely gonna try and work my way back up but I'm already 14 thousand points behind third or second so and what the oh online hoppers yep 
Oh boy. So, do you guys get frustrated when stuff like that happens in online hoppers? Do you just let it go? I have a feeling he's gonna try and hit me again. So, like I said, we end up doing good in the beginning, and then as the session goes on, things happen and frustration gets into play and I don't want to hit that guy. Frustration comes into play and people start just sliding into you and then you know you start losing points. So Forza Online, that's what it's all about. But it is all fun here and we're just having a little fun in a hot hatch. Trying to get points as much as we can. That was nice. Struggling to stay sideways. Son of a... See? And that's exactly what happens. So, <laughs> I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7 before I uh, get involved with a little more things and uh, the frustration level goes out the roof. So you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. Make sure you guys check back to the channel tonight. If everything goes well, I will be doing some Long Beach ESDA round one practice with some guys that I know are competing. I believe T. John and some other people I know are competing in ESDA. So I'll be doing some tandem practice as well. I'm for if you guys want to join in on the tandem practice let me know you know and uh look for the live stream tonight if everything goes to, to according to plan i will see you guys all tonight on the channel so until later tonight or the next time i'm evil rabbit i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'm out